A procedure done at a hospital can be one of the most stressful things we have to do. Whether it's scheduling issues, nerves, right? The list goes on and on. Something that can help, though, give you some peace of mind beforehand is knowing just how much it will all cost you. We know the cost of surgery or procedure can vary depending on the type of procedure, the location, whether you have insurance. Generally, your price tag will range anywhere from a few thousand dollars to up to tens of thousands and even higher in some cases. Now, there are at least 118 licensed hospitals across North Carolina. That's according to data here from the state. And a study from the Kaiser Family Foundation found the average cost of a hospital stay per day in the U.S. was just over $2,800 in 2021. That amount was lower for both North and South Carolina. Now, the good news is federal law requires hospitals to put the cost of procedures online. But in tonight's cover story, a report shows hospital price transparency still very much a work in progress. Carice Jackson has more. You know, when you go to the grocery store, you can see the price of milk on the shelf. You see it when you check out at the cashier and you see it on the receipt when you go out. But that's not possible in healthcare. Giving patients access to hospital prices is why healthcare advocate Mary Beth Garino wrote the Post of Price Report. She says patients should be able to get an accurate look at what the price of care is before they see a doctor. Patients as consumers have a lot of power over purse strings and the power of a consumer to decide where to spend their health care dollars, but they can't do that if they don't know the price. Since 2021, federal rules from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, require hospitals to make their prices public in two ways, in a machine-readable file for researchers and in a consumer-friendly format as a price estimator. How does it look at three years after that? It's iffy, honestly. Um, we expected to be able to compare prices that were reliable, and unfortunately, there were some hospitals that still weren't even providing prices for procedures that we know they offer. Garino and her team at the U.S. Public Interest Research Group, or PERG, looked at prices for a knee replacement surgery at 27 hospitals in the Cleveland, Ohio metro area. And we found a huge variation in prices when it came to the cash price and a smaller but still significant variation when it came to the insured price. Our national investigative team did our own analysis on hospital prices, spending months trying to find price information at 74 of the nation's largest hospitals. Of those, 77% had a tool designed to help patients determine hospital cost, as well as a comprehensive price list. So there has been improvement, um, and I think that the updates to the rule this past December uh, will help as well. But I think now we need to focus on the reliability of the information, not just the access to it. Garino says if you're paying through cash or without insurance, there's a requirement called a good faith estimate. If your final bill is $400 or more than your estimate, you're entitled to dispute it. You can also ask your insurance company how much the procedure will cost you out of pocket. I think the more that we use these tools, the more that we ask hospitals for prices, the more likely we are to move closer to accurate prices. Really helpful information. Chris Jackman reporting. We do want to know both Atrium and Novon Health have price estimator tools on their website. It asks for the hospital location, the procedure, and what type of insurance you have.